Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak. Welcome to Ikra Bangla's first ever Young Persons Ramadan show where I'm your host Abdul Hasnat and unlike my normal show I'll be having just a special one for Ramadan where I've got four young amazing people here to do a little performance for us as you enjoy your Ramadan. Inshallah I hope it's been going well. I know it's been shorter but the days are slowly going to get longer until the clock goes forward one hour when they get very long. But until then you do as much as you can inshallah um, to please Allah, to spend your time about thinking about Allah, to spend your time learning about the worship of Allah and hopefully you join in our TV shows on uh, uh, in and about Ramadan I guess and about Ibadah. So Without anything further, I'm going to move over to my four guests here that will do. And I'll be ha doing this once a week for the next three weeks or so, just for you to come and watch and enjoy. We'll also have our email running across the bottom. So if you have anything to say, if you want any suggestion, want us to mention you, send it. And if we have the time, if we're able to join the show, shall we have a mention. But until then, I want to go over to my guests, talk to them about Ramadan. And also, let's see what they have in store for us today with their performances. So I'm going to come over to you, young, young man. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I'm going to go one by one, and I'd like you to do salam to our audience that's joined us today. To do salam to them, tell, us, tell them your name and how old you are. So, young man on the far side, if you want to look into the camera, give salam to everyone, tell them your age, uh, your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sajid and I'm 10 years old. MashaAllah. Welcome, Sajid. My second guest. If you want to do salam to everyone, say your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Afan. I'm five years old. MashaAllah. Welcome, Afan. Young man, when you're ready, do salam. Say your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mahfuz and I'm 11 years old. MashaAllah. Mahfuz. And young man, closest to me, when you're ready, do salam to everyone. Say your name and your age. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Riyaz. I'm nine years old. Wa alaikum salam to you all and I hope you guys at home have done wa alaikum salam to them as well. So these young men have been very brave to come on and be the first guests in this first ever show done by Ikra Bangla and do a performance for you. So inshallah, I hope you're going to enjoy it. But before we do our performance, I want to know a bit more about them and I'm sure you do too. So I'm going to speak to them for a little bit and I've decided I'm going to speak to Sajid. I want to speak to you first. Sajid, how has your Ramadan been? Uh, my Ramadan's been good uh, so far, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, that's great to hear. Um, do you have anything special to share with us? Something that you really liked? Maybe even about last year's Ramadan, because it's so early. Did you do something last year's Ramadan that you really enjoyed? Uh, last year's Ramadan, I uh, went to a fun fair and I had so much fun with, and time with my family. Oh, you went to a fun fair during Ramadan? Wow. Are you looking forward to doing something maybe similar this year? Uh, yes. Inshallah. Sounds great. Um, Sajid, what are you going to do for us today? Uh, I'm going to do an azan, inshallah. You're going to do the azan, inshallah. I hope you guys at home are going to uh, enjoy the azan that Sajid has in preparation for us. So, without further ado, I'm going to allow Sajid to begin his azan. And, inshallah, I hope you're impressed and hope you enjoy what you're going to hear. Sajid, when you're ready, I want you to do the azan for us. When you're ready, begin your azan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاة حي على الفلاة 
Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah MashaAllah That was amazing I hope you at home enjoyed that and thought that was very well done by Sajid and um, very brave of you Well done um, How much practice have you had with the Adhan? Have you been doing it a lot at home? Uh, Yes, I've been doing it for every salah. MashaAllah, that's amazing. Well, I hope you take um, inspiration from this at home and you, uh, you enjoy uh, listening to the azan, practicing the azan and doing that at home. So well done, Sajid, that's amazing. Right, um, I'm going to move over to my second guest, uh, Afan. Uh, inshallah, Afan, you're going to do some Quran, but just before um, I get you to do the Quran, where do you study? You, you, if you can share with us where you study and what you're doing at the moment. I study in London East Academy. MashaAllah. And uh, what are you planning to f um, achieve at the end? Coming a hat of. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. May Allah make it easy for you. And I hope you make dua for Afan as well to become a Hafiz as he's a student at London East Academy. So Afan, I'm going to ask you which, um, which part of the Quran are you going to recite for us? Surah Al Araf. Surah Al Araf, inshallah. So I hope um, you at home are going to enjoy Surah Al Araf um, that Afan's going to recite for us, and inshallah, make dua for him. So without further ado, Afan, I'm going to go over to you. When you're ready, begin your qiraat. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَنَادَى أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ أَنْ قَدْ وَجَدْنَا مَا وَعَدْنَا رَبُّنَا حَقَّا فَهَلْ وَجَدْتُمْ مَا وَعَدَ رَبُّكُمْ حَقَّا قَالُوا نَعَمْ فَأَذَّنَ مُؤَذِّنٌ بَيْنَهُمْ أَلَّعَنَهُ اللَّهِ عَلَى الظَّالِمِينَ الذين يصدون عن سبيل الله من آمن به وتبغونها عوجا وهم بالآخرة كافرون وبينهما حجاب وعلى الأعراف رجال يعرفون كل مسيماهم ونادوا أصحاب الجنة أن سلام عليكم لم يدخلوها وهم يطمعون وإذا صرفت أبصارهم تلقاء أصحاب النار قالوا ربنا لا تجعلنا مع القوم الظالمين ونادى أصحاب الأعراف رجال يعرفون كل مسيماهم قالوا ما أغنى عنكم جمعكم وما كنتم تستكبرون هؤلاء الذين أقسمتم لا ينالهم الله برحمة ودخلوا الجنة لا خوف عليكم ولا أنتم تحزنون ولا تفسدوا في الأرض بعد ونادى أصحاب النار أصحاب الجنة أن أفيضوا علينا من الماء أو مما رزقكم الله قالوا إن الله حرمهما على الكافرين الذين اتخذوا دينهم لهوا ولعبا وغرتهم الحياة الدنيا فاليوم ننساهم كما نسوا لقاء يومكم هذا وما كانوا بآياتنا يجحدون صدق الله العظيم صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله I hope you enjoyed the recitation from Afan Afan um, very difficult surah to do and um, ما شاء الله well done that was that was brilliant now mom and dad at home if you enjoyed that surah from Afan have a look at the meaning of Surah Araf as well, or maybe that ayah, and have a conversation with your children. Talk about it. Ponder on its meaning and what, what, what Allah is trying to tell us there. Ponder about what the Araf is, or who are the people of the Araf, inshallah. Very interesting topic. We could do several TV shows about it, but I'm not going to take that chance today, because you need to enjoy your Ramadan and have that discussion between yourself, inshallah. Um, and I'm sure Afam's just given us a slight taster into what that, Surah is all about, what the ayah is all about. MashaAllah, that was amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, 
I just want to ask you, Afanta, um, to share us about your daily routine and how you are practicing your hivs. Uh, so, sort of, what do you do on a daily basis? So I have to wake up early, around six, and then have to get out of the house and then read Quran for like two hours in the morning, mm -hmm. and then two hours in the evening. And then when I come home, I have to read, and like, revision, a new lesson, and then. And it's hard work. This yeah. is this is needed for to become a, a hafiz, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people might ask, and I'm going to ask you as well. I mean, two hours in the morning, and then quite a few hours in the evening of reading and practicing. How do you keep yourself going? Just remember what, what I'm doing it for. Exactly. That's brilliant. And I hope uh, mums and dads at home, you can tell your uh, children as well that to be to be in half is similar to what Afan's doing. It takes that commitment, but it's the reward afterwards. It's so amazing to become um, a half is, and there's so much reward inside. So inshallah, at home, I hope you'll join me and everybody else in making dua for Afan to become um, a great half is, as well as Sajid is going to become a great um, azan caller, inshallah. Uh, and Mu'azzin is the word I'm looking for, subhanAllah. That's what happens when you're fasting, you forget things. So, so uh, mashallah, that's two great performances I've had. I'm now going to go over to um, Mahfuz, isn't it? Yes. Mahfuz. Uh, what are you going to recite for us, Mahfuz? Uh, today I'm going to be reciting Surah Al-Kahf. Mahfuz is going to do for us Surah Kahf, inshallah. Um, one of my favourite surahs. So, without further ado, I'm going to pass over to Mahfuz. And when you're ready, Mahfuz, <coughs> nice and loudly, back straight. Chest puffed up so we can get as much air in as possible. Nice and loudly. Give us um, the first ten eyes of Surah Kaf, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi alladhi anzala ala abdihi al-kitaba wa lam yaj'al lahu iwaja قَيِّمًا لِيُنْذِرَ بَأْسًا شَدِيدًا مِنْ لَدُنْهُ وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا حَسَنًا مَاكِثِينَ فِيهِ أَبَدًا وَيُنْذِرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ وَلَدًا مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمٍ وَلَا لِآبَائِهِمْ كَبُرَتْ كَلِمَةً تَخْرُجُ مِنْ أَفْوَاهِهِمْ إِنْ يَقُولُونَ إِلَّا كَذِبًا فَلَعَلَّكَ بَاخِئٌ نَفْسَكَ عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ إِنْ لَمْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِهَذَا الْحَدِيثِ أَسَفًا إِنَّا جَعَلْنَا مَا عَلَىٰ الْأَرْضِ زِينَةً لَهَا لِنَبْلُوَهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ أَحْسَنُ أَمَلًا وَإِنَّا لَجَاعِلُونَ مَا عَلَيْهَا صَعِيدًا جُرُزًا أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا إذ أوى الفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا صدق الله العلي العظيم ما شاء الله that was an amazing recitation from Mahfuz uh, giving us the first uh, ayahs of Surah Kaf Thank you very much, Mahfuz. Um, I do want to talk to you about this surah, but I think I want to bring in Riaz nice and quickly, and then what we can do, we can spend the end of our show talking about everything that you guys have done, and hopefully I can talk to you about what you plan to do for the rest of your Ramadan. Okay? Um, Riaz, how are you, young man? I'm good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, thank you. I'm well as well. Um, what are you going to do for us today? Surah Naziyat. You're going to recite to us Surah Naziyat from your... Um, just Amma there in your hand, aren't you? Yeah. Inshallah. Everyone at home, it's a very brave thing that um, Riaz is doing for us. He's, one, he's our youngest guest here. Alhamdulillah, he's here to um, do some tilawah for us. So, Inshallah, without further ado, I'm going to pass over to Riaz and he will do Surah Naziyat. When you're ready, nice and clear, nice and loud, Riaz, give us Surah Naziyat. Bismillah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. والنازعات غرقا والناشطات نشطا والسابهات سبها فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات أمرا يوم ترجف الراجفة تتبعها الرادفة قلوب يومئذ واجفة 
أبصارها خاشية يقولون إنا لمردودون في الحافرة إذا كنا إذا من نخرة قالوا تلك إذا قرة خاسرة فإنما هي زجرة واهدة فإذا هم بالساهرة هل أتاك حديث موسى إذ ناداه ربه بالواد المقدس توى اذهب إلى فرعون إنه تغى فقل هل لك إلى أن تزكى وهديك إلى ربك فتخشى فأراه الآية الكبرى فكذب وعصى ثم عدب رئيسا فأشرف نادى فقال أنا ربكم الأعلى فأخذه الله نكان الآخرة والأولى إن في ذلك لعبرة لمن يخشى أعنتم أشد خلقا أم السماء بناها رفع سمكها فسواها وأختش ليلها وأخرج دهاها والأرض بعد ذلك دهاها أخرج منها ماءها ومرآها والجبال أرساها متاعا لكم ولي أنعامكم فإذا جاءت الطامة الكبرى يوم يتذكر الإنسان ما سعى وبرزت الجهيم لمن يرى فأما من طغى وآثر الحياة الدنيا فإن فإن الجهيم هي المعوى وعما من خاف مقان ربه ونهى النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المعوى يسألونك عن الساعة أيان مرساها فيما أنت من ذكراها إلى ربك منتهاها إنما أنت منذي من يخشاها فأنهم يوم يرون هان ليلبثوا إلا عشية عود هاها صدق الله عليه ما شاء الله ما شاء الله hope you enjoyed um, Ria's reciting the Quran right I've had my four performances so um, this last few moments I want to talk to you each about your performances um, I'm I'm not an expert so I'm not going to give you guys any tips but I probably want to more talk about how you felt so let me go in reverse order and I'm going to come to you, Ria's. How do you find reading the Quran? Um, it's sometimes easy and sometimes hard, depending if I know the story or if I don't. Okay, no, that's um, and it's a very honest thing to say, and you're true. It's it, some parts can be hard, some parts can be easy. Give us an example of something that's probably easy for you. Something that's easy could be like Surah Nasya, and then something that's hard would be like a story that I've never read. For example, like um. Surah. Uh, I mean, surahs that you heard. Oh yes, Surah Nu. Surah Nu, you found. Oh no, no. I mean, I'm um, Surah. What's it called? Um, again. Surah Mulk. Surah Mulk, yeah, which is a nice surah, and yeah, you haven't read it before, so you'd find that difficult, won't you? Uh, Mahfuz, um, how about for yourself? Um, how do you feel with the Quran? How does it make you feel after you you've learned some of it? After I've learned a few things, it makes me feel a bit better that I've known a bit more and I get I have more knowledge that I did before I read. Mm. And you've got more practice in that surah, so it becomes easier to flow, would you say? Yeah. Yeah? And generally, when things start getting hard in life and when you maybe have a lot of hard uh, schoolwork, do you think about the Quran or do you try to recite it in your head? Yes. You do, don't you? And that helps you, doesn't it? Afan, you've got so much Quran going in your life. How does it make you feel each and every day? Makes me more happy. Alhamdulillah. Do you ever feel, and there's no embarrassment in saying, do you sometimes feel you hear the whispers of shaitan trying to make you get away from it? Sometimes. Yeah? How do you battle it off? Share us your skills. I just ignore it then read. That's it. You just ignore it, knowing that shaitan's trying to, trying to make you go away from it, to do something. What's a good example of the shaitan trying to get you away from the Quran? Telling you to play games. Game, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm sure you guys at home might have that as well. You, you notice that gaming sometimes tries to get you away from the Quran. So, well done to that. Uh, Sajid, how about yourself? How do you feel after... How did you feel? Let's ask you this one. How did you feel the first time you had to do the Azan at home? Uh, I felt nervous and I started stammering, uh, uh, stuttering a bit. And then how did... I mean, you, Marshall did an amazing performance. No stuttering today. How did you get there? 
uh, by with practice. Yeah. Do you, do you have a favorite azan that you hear somewhere? Uh, or maybe in one of the mosques? Which mosques? In my local azan? mosque. Which one's your local mosque? Uh, Abafeldi Mosque. Abafeldi Mosque. You like the azan, yeah? Yeah. Brilliant. Um, how about yourself, Afan? Um, where do you go and do your tar tarawih? Uh, Beit al Aziz. Beit al Aziz, where's that? Harper Road. In Harper Road in South London. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you have a favourite reciter there? No. No? You're just happy to hear anyone? Yeah. And for the amount of Quran that you've memorised, mashallah, have you sometimes followed them and maybe sometimes heard any mistakes from them, let's say? Yeah? And then you, do you see how the. Um, the, the half is at the front line, correct then? Yeah. yeah. Are you hoping, inshallah, one day you'll be one of those there as well? Inshallah. Inshallah. Mahfouz, how about yourself? Where do you do your um, uh, taraweeh? I go to the rest, Red Mosque near our house. You go to the popular Red Mosque, don't you? And you, do, you, do you like it there? Yeah. Yeah? What sort of feelings do you get when you go inside the masjid? It's like there's lots of people when it's Jumma or taraweeh, mm. but normally there's only three lines. In, um, in Tarawih? Um, three lines in a normal day. Oh, yes, that's true, isn't it? Um, like in a normal non-Ramadan de day on a middle of day Salah, there's only about three lines of people, isn't there? Yeah, alhamdulillah, but it's amazing. And do you, do you get to see a lot of your friends in the masjid? Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see your friends at Tarawih at, at night time, isn't it? How about yourself, Riaz? Which, which mosque do you go to? Um, I go to a Riverside one. And where is that? Is that North London? Um, uh, Riverside one? Yeah, it's in Riverside. I, I don't know where it was. In where okay, it was. no, it's fine. And um, uh, do you get to see your friends there? In, yeah. Yeah? What do you like most about the mosque? That everyone gets a turn to do the adhan. Oh, really? Have you had a chance to do it? A lot of times. MashaAllah. Um, anybody got any interesting stories they want to share about Ramadan so far? Afan, I can tell something's coming out in your mind. Thinking of anything? Um, how was your, how was your, uh, Sajid, how was your iftar? Uh, good, alhamdulillah. What did you like most about iftar? Uh, it was so nice. The food tastes nice, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, anything interesting from you, Riaz, about iftar? The samosas. The samosas. Sounds nice. Making me hungry as we speak. Um, my food, do you like family coming around for iftar? Yeah. Do you get a lot of family coming around? Not too much. Not too much? Because it's quite late in the evening, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Afan, are you still you still revising throughout Ramadan, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Inshallah. Are you finding it a bit difficult because you might be hungry? Yeah, yeah, a bit. You got you're getting used to it from the last few years, though, haven't you? Yeah. Inshallah. Right. That's all I've got time for. I want to say thank you to you for being my first ever guest on this amazing program that we have called Joyful Ramadan. Um, and and it's only for you guys. See the email under bottom. Please send us an email with your comments. It would be always good to hear from you. But inshallah, let's hope that I, I could do more of these programs and have more of you young people come and join us and do us some a performance. You're not being tested. It's whatever you can do um, at your own pace, at your own um, happiness. Uh, until then, I hope you enjoy Ramadan. Enjoy the tarawees. Enjoy the iftar of your family. Enjoy this special time. Enjoy the blessings of this month. And inshallah, I hope to see you in our next episode of this special program called Joyful Ramadan. Until then, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem, Wassalamu Alaikum, Wa Rahmatullahi, Wa Barakatuh.